Hi all, so today's video is about the Grove Temperature and Humidity Sensor, uh, which I've got hooked up right here. Um, I really love the Grove, the Grove products. I've showed you them before in the unboxing video. You can see they come in these lovely little kind of sweetie bags, like old fashioned sweeties, with some basic instructions in, so really cute. And they come with a wire ready to hook it up into the Grove Shield. Now you can see here that I've got a Seduino uh, from Grove, and this just comes with three connectors, which is a little bit limiting because there's a couple of I2C and a UART connector, and those aren't really enough for the, the, uh, the projects that and the parts that I want to use here. So I'm, I've got a, one of the proper shields on order which has like loads and loads of connectors in it. But until that comes, I've hooked everything up with fly leads here. And um, I'm using, you can, you can forget that, that was an earlier project, but I'm basically just using the breadboard here to hook everything up and also to plug in the logic analyzer so that we can see what we're doing. We'll see that in a second on screen. Um, so basically what I wanted to do is try and figure out if I can write some Swift code uh, in Swift for Arduino that would uh, read the temperature and humidity. And um, yeah, sure, it was actually pretty easy. Uh, what I did was I went to look at Grove's page. I looked at the Adafruit library, which was very helpful. I looked at the basic description here of how the protocol works. And I had a quick look at their Python implementation. Now there's a picture of the, the actual shield that I'll be hooking it up with. Um, and then a nice, easy thing to do, or a kind of fun way to go is I started it off and hooked up the Sally logic analyzer and there you can see some pulses coming back. So I got did a basic sketch that just triggered the sensor to send out information, which essentially consists of uh, a 250 milliseconds high followed by a 20 millisecond low and then turn the same pin, it's a little bit of a strange one, into uh, a read pin and then you get this sequence of pulses, up pulses and down pulses, and it's the width of the up pulse that determines whether it's a logical high or low, and you get 40, uh, pin, uh, 40 bits following one after the other, which forms into bytes, and then that's basically, you can interpret that as your temperature and humidity readings. Um, and actually, once I'd seen that and then done a little bit of debugging, it was really relatively easy to do. You can see the example a little bit further down in the blog. Um, but really, I just wait for the transition. So I wait for the pin to change state. And then I read the bit by just saying, well, how long was it before it changed set state? And I just did a bit of trial and error on this. Um, and then within an hour or so, I'd got that working with a bit of debugging, turned it into reading bytes, and then uh, changed it to, this is just the setup here, so like sort of 10 pins on and off as you expect it to wait for a couple of transitions, then read the five bytes and interpret them as temperature and sensor data. And you can see down here we've got the temperature and sensor data, the fire, <sighs> breathe on the sensor, and you can see the humidity goes up because my breath is humid, and the temperature will go up a little bit. And uh, that's it, I'll drop the code on the um, community site. The great thing about it, doing it all in Swift is it's nice and easy to understand the code and we can open source the code so that other people can download it and use it. Um, and generally speaking, I found this approach is working for pretty much everything except like super fast protocols like the NeoPixel. We had to add in a bit of library support. So uh, by all means, send questions and uh, repost this video. And if you're seeing this for the first time, you don't have Swift for Arduino, then um, download and buy Swift for Arduino and get coding now. Uh, I can recommend the growth sensors in particular. It's just great fun to play with. Okay, thanks everybody.